Hey friends, and welcome to a very special episode of Doodle the Travel Bug. So my family has asked a lot because we have our own YouTube channel where our favorite place to go is. And we have so many great spots, but one place has our heart. America's Resort, the Greenbrier. The Greenbrier is located in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. Since 1778, guests have traveled to this part of the state to take in the healing waters of this luxury white-columned landmark hotel situated on 6,500 scenic acres in the Allegheny Mountains. We check in and drop off our bags in exchange for some welcome champagne, and then we reacquaint ourselves with the unique beauty that is the Greenbrier. The Greenbrier was used as a hospital during World War II, and after... Famous American designer Dorothy Draper was hired to renovate and give this property a bold new personality. This luxury space reflects Draper's one-of-a-kind design at the peak of her fame, with the use of color, oversized patterns, and an artist's touch. Show us around. Yep. Oh, it's blue. Yep. Yeah. Our blue room. Our room. Yeah, our big living room. Look at those curtains. Oh, and the wallpaper makes it look like we're in a wedding cake. Some roll away beds in the corner that we requested. Because nobody wants to sleep next to this guy. Because I'm going to have all my toys with me. That's true. Yay. We brought all our snuggly guys. Yay! And then we have our bathroom with wallpaper. That's wallpaper. That's a lot of wallpaper, huh? Even on the ceiling. Yeah, oh. <laughs> That's great. After getting our snuggly guys all unpacked, we head outside to explore the magnificent grounds and then to hop on a shuttle over to our falconry class. There is so much to do with the Greenbrier, and hands down one of our favorite outdoor adventures is the ancient sport of falconry. Guests get to get up close and personal with big birds of prey, like falcons, hawks, and owls. We learn about the birds and the history behind the sport of kings before getting to participate in falconry. Falconry is the sport of training a bird of prey to hunt not for himself, but for its trainer or falconer. There are over 55 different activities and excursions here at the Greenbrier, and it's impossible to fit them all in in one visit. Mr. Travelbug and his buddy Kevin love the Sporting Clays course. Oh. and the kids were crazy excited for the arcade and bowling alley. But make no mistake, golf is the leading attraction with three 18-hole championship courses, a respected golf academy, and a course designed by Jack Nicholas. Unfortunately, I am not much of a golfer. I am more inclined to partake in the 230-year-old tradition of hydrotherapy and other spa services in the Greenbriars 40,000 square foot spa. This has been a spa ever since the hotel was open. Um, 
and they're known for their healing waters here in White Sulphur Springs. So I'm in the women's relaxation room. I got my green briar robe on, and I'm already feeling so relaxed. And I'm waiting for my therapeutic massage. Back at the resort, we do a little shopping at the resort's collection of 36 shops and boutiques. Or you can try your luck at the casino. We decide to take our kids to the indoor pool before getting ready for tonight's dinner. Whoa, whoa. The Greenbrier has so many dining options. Cafes, sushi bar, pizzeria, the resort's formal dining room where jackets are required for this old school white glove dining experience. Oh, that looks so good. There's also their signature steak restaurant, 44 Prime. And finally, one thing that totally sets this place apart is the history. The guest list here has included over 26 U.S. presidents, and probably its most unique feature, the Greenbrier has a secret underground bunker. So behind this super gaudy wallpaper behind me, you might not guess it, but there is a door that goes down to a secret bunker underneath the hotel. So let's make it quick. We can't take cameras on the bunker tour because it's still an area where they keep servers from different clients and they, they don't want anybody filming down there. But this is one of three blast doors can survive nuclear attack. And this is the small one at 18 tons. Look at those hinges. So the bunker is underneath the hotel and it's where Congress would go in case DC ever was in, wasn't, you weren't able to live there because of uh, war or nuclear attack. They were going to come and live underneath the Greenbrier. And this was a secret location for I think over 30 years. Um, the person who owned the Greenbrier also owned the railroad. So how they paid for the construction of the secret bunker is everybody from government, whenever they went anywhere on a train, the government would just severely overpay for their train ticket. And then that money would be funneled into creating this secret bunker. Um, it hasn't been a bunker, I think since the early nineties, maybe. Um, it was found out and so it's no longer a secret. And I believe it was a man from Cleveland who, um, where I'm from, who discovered it. Uh, it was a professor at Case. He was doing um, some research on the bomb in Japan and the only thing that survived the area was this bank because it had one of these, one of the blast doors. And he did a little research on the company that makes these giant things and he saw all the banks they had as clients and then saw that the Greenbrier Resort Hotel had three of them. What does a hotel need with three doors like that? So there was a little bit of digging and it was uncovered. So it's no longer a safe place uh, for Congress to go. So now it is open for tours. Uh, can't take you on it, like I said earlier, uh, no cameras down there. But um, the wallpaper, actually, if I didn't say, has, has some meaning too. They, they made the wallpaper super busy and kind of an ugly yellow so that when the wallpaper door was closed, nobody would, would question what was going on back there because nobody would just stare at the wallpaper long enough. So, um, and there's the original wallpaper right there so that you wouldn't see the little openings here, uh, that you wouldn't want to stare at it too long. It kind of, kind of makes you nauseous, so. Uh, but super, super cool. No other hotel like this. America's Resort The Greenbrier is a must visit to find out what it means to experience life as few know it. For more unique travel shows, like and subscribe to see where Doodlebug goes next.